This class we discuss about logical method algorithm. Step 1 read the system data. Step 2 form Y bus matrix. Step 3 assume the reference Vs angle 0 at all generated buses. Step 4 assume ER is equal to 1 angle 0 at all load buses. Step 5 set iteration count K is equal to 0. Step 6 then bus number I is equal to 1. Step 7 if I refers to generator bus or a PV bus, go to step 9. This is step 9. Step 8 A. If I refers to slack bus, go to step 10. Step 10. Otherwise, go to step 8 B. Step 8 B. Compute reactive power using this formula. Here, QRGI, that is reactive power generation at PV bus I is equal to QI calculator plus QDI. QDI is the reactive power demand by load from PV bus I. Check for reactive power limit violation. If the calculator value is within the limits, QI is equal to QI calculator. If QI minimum is less than QRGI, then QI is equal to QI minimum minus QDI. If QI maximum is less than QRGI, then QI is equal to QI maximum minus QDI. QI maximum is violated. Then treat this bus as load bus or a PQ bus till convergence is obtained. Step 9 compute VI using this formula. Step 10 if I is less than number of buses, increment I by 1 go to step 5. Step 11 compare the two successive iteration values of VI. VI k plus 1 minus VI k is less than excellent tolerance value. Go to step 15. Step 12 update the k plus 1 iteration voltage SS. V k plus 1 is equal to V k plus acceleration factor alpha into V k plus 1 minus V k. Then V k plus 1 is equal to V k. K is equal to k plus 1. Go to step 6. Step 13, compute relevant quantities, that is slack bus power, SI is equal to PI minus JQI, SI is equal to VI conjugate, sigma J is equal to 1 PN, YIJ into VJ. Then we have to calculate the line force, SIJ is equal to PIJ plus QIJ, SIJ is equal to VI into VI conjugate minus VJ conjugate into YIJ conjugate series plus VI square, matrix of VI square into Y I 0 conjugate. Step 14, calculate the transmission loss. That is, real power loss is equal to P I J plus P J I Q. Reactive power loss is equal to Q I J plus Q J I. Step 15, stop execution. This is the gauss seidel method of Gordon. PQ bus or a load bus can be classified into four. One is interconnector bus. Second is exporting bus. Third is exporting or importing bus. Fourth is importing bus. This is the interconnector bus. Here, the real power and reactive power generation is zero. The load is zero. Therefore, PI is equal to zero. QI is equal to zero. This bus is called as interconnector bus. Second is an exporting bus. Here we have connected one generator. Therefore, PI is equal to PGI. QI is equal to QGI. That is, PI is equal to PGI minus PDI. There is no load. Therefore, this is 0. That is equal to PGI. QI is equal to QGI. This bus is called as exporting bus. The third is exporting or importing bus. We have a generator. We have a load. Therefore, PI is equal to PGI minus PDI. QI is equal to QGI minus QDI. This bus is called as exporting or importing bus. Fourth is importing bus. There is no generator, only load is there. PI is equal to PGI minus PDI. Here generation is zero. Therefore, PI is equal to minus PDI. QI is equal to minus QDI. This bus is called as importing bus. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.